What's going on with the market? What's going on team? It's Ricky with Techfoot Solutions here with a super quick stock market update. You guys killed it in my earlier video. And again, if you guys want me to host Jerome Powell's live stream tomorrow, 20 minutes before the market opens, all you literally need to do is drop a thumbs up, subscribe and turn on your post notifications and get this video to over 1500 likes. Let's go ahead and break this down. What was announced today? What was shared today? Like we talked about in today's earlier video, we had the vice chair of the Federal Reserve have a speech that was going to be shared at 1240 p.m. I have that speech for you right here. One of the things that I do want you guys to be aware of is that this statement is available at the federalreserve.gov website where you can do and you know read the entire statement itself. The thing that stood out to me the most is this. As long, or I'm sorry, as of this month, the maximum monthly reduction in the balance sheet will be nearly double the level of the previous cycle. Our resolve, our firm, our goals are clear, and our tools are up to the task. But yet, the market is still going up. One of the things that you guys have to understand very quickly is, is a reduction in the balance sheet a good thing? A very simple answer would be no. It's not a good thing. It does not promote economic growth. It does the exact opposite. There's two things that the Federal Reserve is really trying to focus on. First is bringing down inflation. And how do you do that? Well, you can begin to raise interest rates, making it more expensive for people to borrow money. Second, they can begin to reduce their balance sheet. And like they said, they, they plan to reduce their balance sheet more in the month of September this month, more in this month than any other month before this year. And that is big news. I don't think that the market has really factored this news in that was shared today. If you actually think about it and you ask yourself, why has the market been selling off for the past week to week and a half? It was shortly after Jerome Powell said that they're going to be more aggressive than expected. So the same thing that caused the market to sell off on Friday is now causing the market not really to skyrocket, but it's doing pretty well. And what I'm doing now is, I mean, I'm up $27,000 on the day. I'm gonna begin to reduce my position size. I'm not gonna sell my entire position. I'm not gonna sell all of my long positions. It's not about that. But in case th things do get worse before they get better, especially with this up and coming CPI data report on September 13th, I need to make sure that I'm prepared for worst case scenario. I'm not here to predict the future. I'm here to prepare for it. So how can you prepare for something like that? Well, I can reduce my position size and or have enough money in cash on the side that if the market does end up pulling back, that it can take advantage of those lower prices. That's all. I want to make sure that whatever position I do have, that I can tolerate not only the good days, but I can tolerate at the worst case scenario. To have enough money in the market to take it seriously, but not so much that I become an emotional mess. And only you can understand what that is. So I'm going to sell another 2,000 shares here. And again, just because I, I choose to reduce my position size does not mean that you need to. I just wanted to share with you my thoughts. I wanted to break down a very uh, small portion of that speech that was shared today. And I wanted to encourage you to you know, take some time and read a little bit more um, and see what you guys make of it. Uh, so you guys can let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, I'm super pumped to see what's to come. If the market continues to rally, great. Uh, if the market begins to pull on back, I would not be surprised, right? We've been selling off pretty much for the better half of August uh, going into September. Uh, we're still trading below the moving average. We're barely trading above the EMA. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful in the sense that I want the market to recover, but I'm also not blind to think that the market has to recover, right? There's, there's a big difference. Uh, so I'm excited to follow up to see which way the market ends up going. CPI data report September 13th. Please make sure that you're aware of that. And also Jerome Powell speaks tomorrow at 9, 10 in the morning which is 20 minutes before the stock market opens and I will be live streaming that on my YouTube channel. All you need to do is subscribe, drop a thumbs up on this video and turn on that post notification which is the little bell right next to the subscribe button. If you have any questions even before that live stream, make sure you message me via Discord and that's that first link down below. If you wanna watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow and join my Learn Plan Prof group, it's the only group that I work with on a closer basis and that's going to be that second link in the description. I really do appreciate you guys' time. Hope that I earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.